it's Melanie. So today I have a review for you of the Biosance 100% Squalane Oil. And I recently picked this up when Sephora was having a friends and family sale. My friend Emily was nice enough to send me a code to be able to use. Um, I've been eyeing this oil for quite some time and it's a little bit more expensive. And um, I figured at 20% off that would be a good time to spring for it. I will be linking this down below for you so please do do go read up on a little bit more about the product yourself, read some of the other reviews and see if it's worthwhile investing in for yourself personally. Um, I want to say that this is somewhere in the maybe $48 to $50 price range. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it will of course be linked down below. Um, this particular squalane oil is derived from sugarcane. If you are not familiar with squalane oil, you can um, get derivatives of it from several different places. Um, in the past, they have gotten squalane oil from shark's liver which is obviously not an ideal place to get it from. Um, I'm not a big shark fan myself. However, I don't believe in killing them for their oil. <laughs> um, but you can also get squalane oil from other sources like olives, rice bran, amaranth, as well as wheat germ, I believe. So there are several different places where you can get squalane oil from. I think that olive oil, olives, um, are actually the most, um, commonly sourced um, squalane oil. So um, squalane oil is um, something that I was hoping would be a replacement for my beloved drunk elephant marula oil which you guys know that I love. Um, it's Marula oil has made a big difference in my skin because it has helped to not only really hydrate my skin very deeply but has also helped to level out my oil production significantly. However, squalane oil seems to be like the next big thing, so I really did want to be able to try it out for you guys. I have tried it on my hair, I have tried it on my face, I have also tried it on my body. So I can report um, exactly how it did in each of those areas. Um, a little bit of um, information about squalane oil. This particular oil is... Um, it has really great antibacterial benefits. So if you are someone who um, breaks out and you have yet to find an oil that works well for you, I would really recommend checking out squalane oil. Um, there is, by the way, a difference between squalane oil and squalene. So um, Squalene is actually made by our own skin cells, so this particular oil is very similar to the oil that we produce in our skin, so that makes it r really compatible with our skin, um, probably more so than marula oil even. Um, squalane is... Um, oil that from whatever source, in this case sugarcane, that has been hydrogenated, which helps to keep it from going rancid. One thing about a lot of facial oils is that um, their shelf life is usually somewhere around 12 months after you open them. They do start to go rancid after that point, so um, because this is hydrogenated, it does have a longer shelf life, supposedly, and um, it's a lot more stable. Um, saturated oils are, um, they have the ability to fight free radicals um, much better because they are hydrogenated and they don't break down quite as fast, and as a result, they can help fight a lot of um, oxidative damage in the skin. Um, they can help fade pigmentation. So that is something that squalane oil does that maybe some other oils aren't really as readily able to do for the skin. I use a lot of other products like vitamin C and, you know, other, um, you know, retinols and things like that that also help to fade dark spots in the skin, but incorporating this in can also help that process along a little bit faster. Um, so that is definitely a benefit to squalane oil over some of the other oils that I have tried in the past. Um, in terms of how it feels on the skin, um, it actually absorbs 
faster than marula oil does on me so my skin doesn't look um, oily or greasy as long <laughs> as it does with marula oil I still only use my oils at night so I'm fine with having kind of a shine on my face for a little bit while the marula oil sinks in but I find that this one goes in much faster also in most cases you should use your skincare oils last because they're a little bit more occlusive they don't allow your other serums and stuff to sink in um, if you use the oil before the you know like the serums and stuff like that with this one you can actually use this at any point of your skincare routine because it absorbs so quickly and it doesn't block the other ingredients from being absorbed into the skin if that makes sense I still use this last when I'm using it on my face and by the way it only takes a little tiny bit um, so that right there is it was just like I would say like a quarter of a pump that is more than enough to um, do my entire face so I will massage this into my skin after I've applied all of my other serums. Um, I just, I've gotten so used to using oils last in my routine that I just prefer that. Um, but you can see that that is already completely absorbed into my skin. There is, it, it doesn't feel like there is oil on my hand at all. Um, it's pretty incredible actually how fast this absorbs. So. On my face um, I've been using this at night in place of marula oil it is insanely hydrating like I said it absorbs really quickly I can use it all the way underneath my eyes it has helped to plump up my skin it has helped to deeply hydrate my skin it has not made me break out like I said it has the antibacterial properties in it so it's actually really good for those of you that suffer from breakouts um, my skin just looks youthful and soft and hydrated after I use it. Um, in fact, I recently went up to my parents' house. I didn't take this with me because once you open this pump, it is a little bit harder to travel with. I guess I could have decanted it into like a little like, you know, container or something, but I didn't want to deal with it. Um, and I missed it. I missed using this on my face at night when I was visiting my parents. I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna get it home for Thanksgiving. I think I am just gonna try to find like a little something to put it in because it's wonderful you guys it really is nice on my face and I love that I can use it around my eye area it absorbs so quickly it doesn't cause milia or anything like that because it is so close to your own your own skin's natural oils um I feel like it just was like meant to be you know like it's meant to absorb into your skin and just kind of become one with your skin if that makes sense um it's fantastic on the face i didn't really love it on my hair i felt like it was a little bit too heavy for my hair i used a little bit on the ends um but i don't really i use a lot of hydrating shampoos and conditioners and deep conditioners and things like that um i don't think i need something like this on my hair i don't really deal with flyaways or anything like that but if you use it really sparingly those of you that have a lot of frizz issues I feel like you could definitely use this on your hair. Another place that I loved it, you guys, was on my arms where I deal with eczema. It is amazing for hydrating my eczema. Just amazing. In fact, so much so that, like, if, if I didn't like this for my face, I would repurchase it a hundred times over if only for dealing with my eczema. Now, it's, it's under pretty good control right now. I have found that through intermittent fasting and just making a lot of, um, a lot better choices with my food, <laughs> um, eating less processed foods, that my eczema has calmed down a lot. But I do still get flare-ups when we turn on the heat in the house. It just, it's just a part of my life. But this oil soothes it so beautifully, you guys. It is absolutely fantastic. I love it. I am well aware that The Ordinary does have a squalane oil. Um, 
I don't know that I'm gonna try it. For those of you that are new to my channel, I have tried a fair amount of stuff from The Ordinary, and I really find those products to be hit and miss for me. I do think that if you are on a tighter budget, it's an awesome option for you, um, and you can definitely, you know, get the, just the key ingredients in a lot of those products and they may well work incredibly well for you. So if this is a little bit too much, definitely try the Ordinaries first. I think that theirs is like $7.80. However, you're, you're not getting this amount of product. I feel like you're getting probably three times the amount with this. Still, this is gonna be more expensive, but uh, this product right here was, it just made such a difference for me that I, I would not personally mind spending the money on it again. Absolutely, I will repurchase this going forward. Um, maybe I, the next time that I have an interest in trying some stuff from The Ordinary again or from Nyad or from some of the other Desiem brands, maybe I will toss the squalane oil in to be able to try it for you guys, but I mean, I'm not like running to purchase the one from The Ordinary, to be completely honest with you. I will link The Ordinary one down below, so if you want to go check that one out, feel free to do so. Um, but for me, the Biosance is fantastic. I also love that I can readily just go pick it up at Sephora. It is in store. This is enough to last me probably until the next VIB sale very easily, especially if I'm just using it for the small eczema patches as well as for my face. I feel like this is going to last me a long time. Um, so I'm, I think I'm going to be fine until I can get it on sale again. But I just, I really like it, you guys. By the way, this bottle is plastic. Um, it isn't glass. The pump's really nice. You can do half a pump. You can do a full pump, um, kind of whatever you want. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I'm missing here. This, by the way, is, um, it's made in the U.S. Um, their company is based out of Berkeley. So they're from down in California. And, um, yeah. Yeah. This is, they say it's dermatologist tested, it's hypoallergenic, it's not, it's non-comedogenic, which is important, and it's safe for all skin types, including sensitive skin. It's non-toxic, fragrance-free, paraben-free, phthalate-free, mineral oil-free. There is no fragrance to this at all. And again, this particular one is derived from sugarcane. Um, and because it is squalane with an A, I'm assuming that the oil is hydrogenated. Squalane with an E is the um, uh, the unhydrogenated version. So um, when you hydrogenate it, I believe that I read that it um, extends the shelf life of the product. So, but anyway, I, I'm a fan, you guys. If If you ever have a chance to go into Sephora and test it out, I would highly recommend just putting it on your, I mean, you guys, it doesn't, my hand does not feel greasy at all. Like it's, it's incredible. Um, d does it replace marula oil? I'll probably still end up also using marula oil to be completely honest with you guys, because I, I do love the virgin marula oil from Drunk Elephant. I think it's amazing. Um, however, I think this is an awesome replacement that is way less expensive and you're getting way more product than the drunk elephant so those of you that are more budget conscious i would give squalane oil a try um, especially if you have found in the past that maybe marula oil possibly made you break out or you felt it was too heavy try the squalane oil all right, let me know if you guys have any questions at all i hope this was helpful um i will keep updating you on this I'm just, I'm, I'm very pleased with it myself, obviously. Let me know what your experience has been with squalane oil, and I will see you in my next video. Take care.